This is Amanda with Deep South Delicacies, and tonight I have my good friend Debbie Baldwin, who is originally from Indiana. Hey, y'all! Midwest meets the South! Yes, we're going to have a good time tonight. We're making company casserole, we're making basil garlic rolls, and for dessert, we're having David's favorite, blueberry cobbler. All right. So now I'm going to give you the ingredients for the company casserole. I have Miss Debbie chopping a bunch of green onions. We want the onions to be small and we want to make sure that we chop the whole onion including the green tips. We need a pound and a half of ground round or ground beef, whichever you prefer. This even tastes good with turkey. We need a cup of um, cottage cheese. We need a half a cup of sour cream. We need an eight ounce bag of shredded cheese. We need a jarred sauce. Whatever's your favorite is fine. Mine happens to be tomato basil. And we need eight ounces of wide egg noodles. So I brown my ground beef. I've drained it. And now I'm gonna add my tomato basil sauce. Okay, now our sauce is incorporated into the meat and we're just gonna let it get warm through and through. And I've asked Miss Debbie to drop in our egg noodles. I have a pot of boiling water prepared with salt. And we'll let those cook and then we'll show you how to put this casserole together. So now we're gonna make our rolls. These are delicious and very easy. I'm gonna get Miss Debbie to help me with this. But our ingredients are two cups of self-rising flour, a tablespoon of basil, and a tablespoon of garlic powder. I also have buttermilk, and I have about a half a cup of mayonnaise. Okay, now we're gonna mix up our rolls. Miss Debbie is pouring in our half a cup of mayonnaise. Any brand is fine. You can also lighten up this recipe by using fat-free or low-fat. Now she's gonna pour in our buttermilk. Okay, that's good right there. And then we're gonna start stirring and check our consistency. So this is just a great, easy biscuit type roll that you can make. It goes so well with any kind of pasta, any kind of casserole. Um, even if you wanted to do something like pork chops and a baked potato salad, this is perfect. Smells delicious. Yes, it really does. Now we have our rolls mixed up nicely and I'm using my ice cream scoop to scoop our rolls out into a muffin tin. This makes sure that each muffin comes out the same size. So we're gonna get these all filled and we're gonna put them to the side. When we get done with our casserole, we'll be ready to pop these in the oven at 375 until they get golden brown. Now we have our egg noodles drained and I put them right back into the pot that they were boiling in. Remember that we had salt in our water, so this should not require extra salt, but if you decide that you want extra salt and pepper, that's perfectly fine. Miss Debbie is gonna put in our sour cream. Now we're gonna get the cottage cheese and add that. And lastly, we're gonna incorporate our green onions with the tips that have been finely diced. We'll stir that all together really nicely. And then we'll start to assemble our casserole. Now that we have our noodle mixture ready, we're gonna start assembling this casserole. Make sure that you have a nine and a half by 13 pan. You've sprayed it with vegetable spray. And we are always gonna start with your sauce on the bottom first. So this is our first layer, a little bit of meat sauce, just a little. We want all those noodles to have a little sauce on them. And now we're gonna start scooping our noodles over that, a little bit at a time. They don't have to be perfectly even, but close. What do you think about this, Debbie? Have you ever had it? No, I have not, and I I can't wait to try it. Oh, it, it looks delicious, so and it good. smells so good. Yes, very savory. Good for a chilly day. Yes. And now I have my second layer of noodles down, and we're just going to keep alternating sauce with noodles until we get to the very top. I wanted to tell you a little bit about my friend Debbie and how I met her. Tonight, we're actually making this meal for her son, David, and her daughter-in-law, Valerie. 
David works with Ricky. And when she was down helping with the baby after uh, Annabelle was born, I had the pleasure of meeting her. And we have just been best friends since. Now we're gonna end this casserole with the best part, cheese. Love some cheese. Oh, <laughs> me too. <laughs> the more the better. It makes everything so good. So we're gonna put our shredded cheese. You can use cheddar, uh, you can use Monterey Jack, you can use combo whatever kind that you like. Now all of these ingredients were already baked, so there's no need to bake this for a long time. We're gonna put it in a 350 degree oven, and we're gonna bake it until it's bubbly and warm through and through. Your casserole dish should be small enough that you can put your rolls in at the same time because remember we want all of our dishes to be prepared at the same time so we have a nice hot meal. Okay, the dough that we're using for our blueberry cobbler is my homemade buttermilk biscuit recipe. You can find that recipe on YouTube. I have laid out some aluminum foil with flour and now I have my biscuit mixture that I'm just going to pat out really thin. So I make a little bit of a mess when I'm cooking, and that's okay. But if you're a more fancy lady who doesn't want to get dirty, you just feel free to use your rolling pin. But this is just about ready. Well, I have my blueberries here. I just bought them frozen. I put about two to three cups of water in here and two cups of sugar, and they came to a boil. Now they're a little bit cool. And I'm going to go ahead and assemble my cobbler. So I'm going to make sure that I get some of the blueberries right down here in the bottom. I have a spray pan. Now I need to pour a little bit of that juice in. Look how good that looks. That color is beautiful. Now we're going to put just a little bit of the crust in so it'll make kind of a dumpling. Most people, if you ask them their favorite part of the cobbler, what are they going to say? Oh, the crust. The crust. Oh, yes. So we're going to put a little bit of this crust down in here. I guess maybe dumpling is more like the turn. Yeah. Well, the inside at least, and then the outside is a good crispy, buttery crust. Mm. But this gives just a little bit more bread in there. Now I've got a few of the dumplings in there. I'm just going to put a few more blueberries on top, pour a little bit more juice, and then we are going to top it with our crust. That should be good right there. Okay, very good. Nothing has to be measured specifically as you're assembling your cobbler. You can do it like you want to. So now, I'm just going to make little strips of my biscuit dough and I'm going to lay that on top. Very, very easy. And this makes for such a flaky crust. Some people turn up their nose to buttermilk, but y'all, I promise, even if you do not like buttermilk, which I don't when it comes to just drinking it, but it makes recipes so much better. I'll second that. Oh. It's just something about it. Now I have my cobbler assembled. We're going to top it with butter. So I have my cold stick of butter. And a trick I like to use is a grater. You want to make sure that all of your cobbler gets that good butter completely over the top. The last thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of sugar, just white granulated, over the top of my butter. And this is going to make a very crispy, crunchy, glossy finish. Now we're going to pop it in our oven, 375, until it gets golden brown. Now I'm going to take my casserole out. Ooh, that smells so good. Doesn't it smell good? I, I want so some. Good. Wow. <laughs> There's going to be some happy kiddos oh, at your house. I do believe. Now I'm going to turn my broiler on to finish up my biscuits my rolls. Now we have everything out of the oven and ready to serve. We have our company casserole, our rolls, and our hot cobbler. 
with cobbler, I like to serve it with vanilla ice cream, but you could also eat it with whipped cream or nothing at all. I want to also let you know that this is a doubled recipe of company casserole since we have so many folks to feed. A little bit more about Debbie. Debbie has a son named David and a daughter-in-law named Valerie. They have sweet little Annabelle who was born about four months ago and shortly after Annabelle was born, Valerie went into kidney failure. Her kidney failure was not reversible and now she is on dialysis. She is also on the donor list. What I want you to be aware of is shortly we will be starting some fundraisers. So y'all please be looking for that and help out any way that you can. I hope that you enjoyed our show tonight. Thank you. Wonderful on a, on a cold night. I know, it's kind of hot. Be careful. Cobbler's going to be so good. I cannot uh, wait. I cannot mm. wait. Delicious. You taught me a few things uh, tonight. Well, good. Ah!